Sometimes people ask uh, what music I like to listen to. The truth is I don't listen to a lot of music, but when I do, I'm just reminded on nights like tonight that my favorite songwriters are my friends. These people, these songs tonight are just uh, blowing me away, and I've heard, I've heard most of them. So um, it's just such an honor to uh, be up here with all these people, and, and since there have been so many wonderful songs, I thought I would do this one. We should say that most of these songs we've written with you. Uh, it might be a very uh, important piece of the story. I don't know. Funny you should mention that. I didn't even think about that part. I knew they sounded familiar. <clears throat> Many years ago, um, I got word that a friend of mine had had an accident. And he was mowing his yard, and he uh, slipped while he was mowing his yard. And his foot went under the mower. And there are kids in here, so I'll, I'll do the G rate of it. Uh, his foot went under the mower, uh, and it broke a couple of toes, and it C-U-T, one O-F-F, -F, right? <laughs> they found it in the grass somewhere, I guess, and they took him to the hospital. Why was that so funny? <laughs> they took him to the hospital and uh, they put it back on, however they do that kind of thing. And then uh, like a few days later, they realized it didn't uh, T-A-K-E, so they took it back off. <laughs> and I found out about it after all the stuff had already happened. And uh, the one question I had for the guy who told me was, which toe was it? Because I wanted to know what his foot looked like and um, the guy said it was the long toe, which it could be any number of the toes on the foot if you think about it. And that's when I realized we don't have names for the toes like we do for the fingers, uh, until I thought, was it the one that stayed home from the market? And he said, yeah, the one that stayed home from the market. So on the way home that night, I was thinking, what should I do for this friend of mine? who just went through this tragedy. I mean, that's like a lot of tragedy, to lose something, get it back, and then lose it again. <laughs> Forever. And I was like, what should I do for him? I don't want to call him, because I didn't know if he'd be able to like, sense this slight smile in, in my voice. I didn't know if he was like devastated or, I, I don't know. So I thought the best thing I could do for him was to write a song for him, like tell the story of, of his toe, uh, so that it could live on forever. And, and he would never forget, as if he would ever forget. Um, so I started writing this song for my friend, and... Um, is, this, is this called Death Without a Funeral? Yes. <laughs> That's so true. Uh, so I started writing this song for this friend. And um, then another friend told me that I had the wrong information and it was not the one that stayed home from the market. <laughs> so I changed it to this. Thank you. Yeah. He, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> he had roast beef for his last meal. His brothers went to market and to home. He was cut off from his family. He wanted to find freedom on his own. He saw his big chance for an escape and helicopter rotating blades and said goodbye to the pigsty quick as a guillotine he was gone and all his brothers jealous hearts were broken something was afoot there in that shoe they all stuck together cause there's nothing they could do He 
Went from right there in the middle to smack dab in the center of attention. He was picked up, he was cradled, he was given his own freezer back to live in. And for the first time in his long life, he felt the sunshine on every side. So he set sail like a hangnail and waved back to the shore goodbye. His brothers always said it was so crowded. Well, maybe now they'd finally have some space. But they were out of balance there without him in his place. So he came back from vacation Out of family obligation And rejoined with those four vandals For the sake of wearing You know, the friend that I wrote this song for, I heard he was going to be here tonight. <laughs> Andy Osenka, sorry buddy. Will you play a solo? There it is. It's covered up by that shoe. Look, he still has full balance. Yeah, let's hear for Andy Osenga for the solo and for having to sit on the stage while I sing this song about him many, many times. Now we can't say he did not try. He gave up all his chances to be free. I forget we sang that duet. But once you felt that kind of sunshine, can't go back to the way he used to be. <laughs> so when he looks down and remembers something's missing in the middle, may it always be a symbol. One day that will be. Thank you, everybody. I do have to say, on the record, he does play on that song on the record, but it's just a, a board with a mic next to it and his four-toed foot tapping out the <laughs> percussion. All right, Andy, your turn. Awesome. It's been a long time since I've heard that song. And I'm remembering that we, had, we came up with all these great nicknames for Andy Osenga. Uh, one of them was uh, Frodo. <laughs> one was Tosenga. <laughs> My favorite is Nueve. <laughs> Nueve Osenga. Anyway. 